After six months of being a filmmaker and creating four short films the last you know, past few months uh, with my friends and family and stuff, I'm finally decided to make a full feature film after creating these few projects. And I'm finally ready to attempt to make a feature, a full hour and a half long movie. But if you are new to the channel, my name is Nick Perrin. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a content creator and YouTuber. I make short films and feature films on this channel. And I just like to talk about movies, filmmaking tips, and whatever really comes to mind. So if that interests you, make sure to click that subscribe button to see more videos like this. So my next project that I'm working on after I finished Pick Up at Arby's, which I talked about a few times on this channel. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check that video out after you finish watching this video. Uh, after completing that short film, like working on that for like the last six months, I think I'm ready to like, you know, finally move on and create a full feature film, which this one is called The Sunshine State. And I mentioned this a few times on my channel. I, I've been having this written by AI in some aspects. I've been having improv like, you know, style to this whole movie. I, I was really inspired by Joel Haver and like kind of like his movie uh, filmmaking style. And if you've seen Joel Haver, uh, he does like these like really amazing full improv feature films with like, you know, his buddies and stuff. And he just grabs the camera and just gets an idea and just kind of goes on a whim. And even like down to the very bottom, would you do it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, Jacob, or, check it out. I think Jacob's, uh... And you know, throughout this year, he's making like uh, 12 feature films in 12 months. So he's on like this crazy project. So I thought might as well, hey, at least make one feature film in tw 12 months if everyone else is, you know. Uh, but I, I really like the idea of just making stuff like on a low budget, especially with your phone, any sort of camera that you have, just make stuff like with the equipment that you have already. You don't need like fancy equipment and stuff. I, I talked about this a lot in my channel. You just, you know, if you wanna make something right now, go ahead and do it, you know. But it's actually interesting because this wasn't actually gonna be my first feature film. The Sunshine State was something I had on the back burner of my mind for like the last six months while creating these other short films. But I also was uh, really in depth on this one other project which has been scrapped for now, but I'm actually gonna continue making it next year. It was gonna be my GTA 6 fan film called Vice City Vengeance. And I'm still working on it. I'm still like, you know, have that on the back burner after this project. But that was gonna be my first like big feature film. It was gonna have, you know, this cast. We were gonna go down to Miami. Uh, I had it like halfway scripted out, like a full script for like this full movie. It was gonna be a full, you know, hour and a half feature film. Uh, but it just was kind of like an overwhelming project. You know, I haven't really touched the project in some time. But after like working on it uh, back in like January and February, I just decided like I just need to, you know, I can't work on this anymore just because I need to upgrade my skill of filmmaking first. You know, I, I'm like nowhere near, you know, the filmmaking, like uh, making a feature film right now. I need to like upgrade my skill and, you know, get better at it, get better with the camera, get better at directing, get, get better at writing, stuff like that. And, you know, that's how you improve. You, you don't improve by, you know, tackling the biggest project first. You make baby steps and then, you know, this is kind of a baby step <laughs> in kind of a way, you know, making a full feature is obviously challenging. A lot of filmmakers don't end up making feature films. I realize that, you know, like a lot of people just stay like low budget and, you know, uh, you know, and that's fine, but the true movie magic really happens with feature films. And that's kind of like my, uh, that's my thing that I want to do most is make feature films on YouTube, uh, kind of like Joel Haver. He's been a big inspiration of mine. And that's, you know, that's the only person I've really seen on YouTube or any sort of space that's really, you know, had the same insight that I've had. And another thing with my GTA movie is I just didn't have like equipment. I didn't have like, you know, getting the cast and stuff. It's a whole process. And, you know, I wanted to do something like a little smaller scale first. So I'll kind of be prepared for the next project. Like, you know, making this project, even of it itself, is still a big project, you know, even though I have it like improvised and, you know, s scripted out and, you know, just getting cast members, getting all this stuff, is still a challenge. And I'm still shooting on my iPhone. I'm, I'm still making the iPhone movies. You know, uh, like I showed before, like making a movie with your iPhone looks great. You know, pick up Arby's. Uh, I'll, I'll have like a few B-roll clips here, but like the shots we got in that are really, really great. So, you know, you can make your iPhone movie or like really anything look good these days because filmmaking and stuff has been so affordable the last few years and really anyone could just, you know, just take their phone and just make something that looks really good, like Hollywood style quality, which is kind of cool. But like I said before, I wanted to make something like a little smaller scale 
and you know, not like this big project, like this big gangster war and, <laughs> and Grand Theft Auto V or whatever, but something that was like kind of close to home. And I really wanted to make something around my hometown, around Tampa, around like the beach and stuff. And I've had this idea throughout like the last few months, you know, uh, making, you know, the weekend and pick up Arby's and going down to the beach, you know, uh, when we were first shooting around those uh, movies, I really had this idea in the back of my mind, like, you know, if we were able to make a full feature film around like this town, what would it be about? And, you know, I just, the mind just started wondering, like, would it be a drama? Would it be an action movie? Who would the characters be? What would it be about? You know, stuff like that. And, you know, the, you know, I just kept thinking about like this idea, like just shooting a movie, like right outside my front door, like what would it be about? And, you know, just having a full hour and a half, two hours even uh, of like, you know, this whole idea, like what would it be about? And luckily, like, you know, the idea kind of came through and like, I, I still, I'm still working on like, like the story a little bit just because I want to make some changes, but the overall story and message really uh, are personal to me. And it's like, it's more of a personal story. It's more grounded. And it feels something like I can really connect with. And at the end of the day, I just wanted to share something that was kind of close to home and kind of show this area in the world, which many people haven't seen. And I, I really like, I'm glad that I'm having this opportunity to share some stuff that people have never seen. And I'm really big on like the world building aspect of like movies and like, you know, people have seen LA a million times, New York in movies, you know, not many people have seen like Clearwater, Clearwater Beach you know, and, and Tampa. So those are locations I wanna like showcase and show off to the world and kind of like my own way, if that makes sense. And I, I really like filmmaking and kind of showing off the world and like my own like vision and like the way I like see things, you know, just kind of capturing the moments. And that's all what it's really about. And I think this project is gonna be a good first stepping stone in my filmmaking career moving forward. You know, obviously I had my four like, you know, tiny like short film projects which i'm beyond proud of i really love those projects but you know i think this one's gonna be kind of a step up in like where i want like you know the future to go like more like the feature films more more bigger projects stuff like that you know making like each project bigger than the last one that's what that's my goal and you know of course i'm gonna do like little projects here and there i still have ideas for like short films and stuff but it's really like the feature films that's where you know i i fell in love with filmmaking is just watching movies in the cinema that's that's where the real like magic happens is where you sit down for two hours and you're fully invested in like characters and like the whole movie and the whole story an aspect of everything. There's a famous quote, the greatest stories are outside your front door and that's, you know, beyond true. I think a lot of filmmakers and a lot of people, you know, they want to go to different locations. Like for me, for example, I wanted to go to Miami to film my GTA movie, but I, that wasn't really an option. That's not really an option right now, you know, between the constraints of work, life, whatever, and just like the amount of dedication I need to actually go there, you know, get actors and have this big project, I can just step outside my front door and make a movie right now and make like a certain story. And I think the story here is like beyond like more impactful than like the GTA movie will ever have. Just because, you know, the greatest stories that you have are outside your front door. And I think, you know, no matter where you live in the world, if you want to be a filmmaker or whatever, if you want to move to LA, I mean, sure, that's like an option, but you can really make movies wherever, like even in like, you know, the smallest of towns, you can make really interesting stuff. And you know, that's, that, that's where I uh, have that inspiration. You know, as a filmmaker, I, I love to daydream. I love to like, you know, imagine what it'll be like to make big Hollywood productions one day, if that ever happens. But you know, I, I, I like to get ideas for movies like, oh, that, that idea would be a good idea for a movie. I have about like 10 pipe dreams in the back of my mind, just like, you know, whenever I hear like a certain song or like a certain, like if I see a certain action movie, I'm like, oh, that will be like a cool idea for, you know, a big Hollywood production. You know, I have like about like 10 ideas roughly like in the back of my mind. And by the time I was at the end of writing it, I kind of realized that like I integrated each bit of those ideas in the certain story. Like instead of like just waiting for those certain ideas to happen, I kind of like meshed all those 10 ideas that I had for different movies and different stories into this project. So this project is kind of a culmination of 10 different ideas that I had for like bigger, bigger projects, which is kind of interesting because I didn't really think about that while writing the movie or creating the movie. 
I just kind of like had that in the back of my mind unconsciously. And then when I kind of looked back on it, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of similar to the one idea that I had like a year ago. Oh, I guess that's kind of similar than, you know, to this certain project idea that I had. Yeah, one thing I hate to do is wait. You know, I'm, I'm an unpatient artist. I, I really love, love to create. I love to, you know, film and I like to make videos. Obviously, that's why I make videos once per week on the channel. I just like to make content and, you know, I don't like to wait, you know, like years and years to make one certain idea. And when I have an idea, I want to like run with it. That's why I ran with the Grand Theft Auto uh, fan film is because I really like the idea. And that's still in the back of my mind. But as I know right now, that's not really a possibility. And, you know, I'm full focus on the Sunshine State, which is this project. And I'm looking forward to the future and me going forward with that. But with, with that being said, and enough of like me rambling and stuff, uh, I'm really excited for the Sunshine State and me filming this like the next like six months or however long it's going to take me to finish it. But it's going to be worth it because uh, I'm full focus on it. I'm not making like three projects at, at once like I was before with pickup RVs and stuff. But I, I'm really looking forward to, you know, working with actors. I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, writing out scenes and, you know, shooting around the town, like I said before, and shooting around like places that I grew up around that people have never seen before. So it'll be cool to share that and it'll be cool to showcase that. Uh, but with that being said, next week I'm actually releasing my first vlog. Uh, you know, I like to do these vlogs once in a while just about my filmmaking journey. Uh, so go check that out. I'm going to be releasing one vlog a month, kind of just showing off like, you know, my progress with the film, like wh what I'm shooting and just talking about it a little bit. Uh, so check back next week for that. And also follow me on Instagram for more updates based on the Sunshine State. And with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.